110 meter sprint hurdles. So technical, so precise, so fast. All he lives for, a brief encounter with 10 three foot six barriers. The whole race lasts just under 13 seconds, as long as this slow motion shot. Twenty times slower than normal. Point zero seven of a second, less than the blink of an eye. That's all that stands between him and the world record. the meteoric rise of this young American a warning that you ain't seen nothing yet. Gothenburg, 1995, the World Championships. Unknown outside the United States, Alan Johnson in lane six beats a field of top-class hurdlers to become world champion. Overnight, he became the new American phenomenon. But who was this lean and muscular man from North Carolina? Would this just be a flash in the pan? Six days later, Johnson was again making the headlines. Johnson in the yellow shorts made a splendid start in lane four, and he's already up on the others. Tony Jarrett going well for Britain. Johnson, the world champion leading Jarrett, the world silver medalist in second place, and they repeat the finishing positions of Gothenburg in a very fast time. 12.975 seconds. But the world record holder had been missing, Colin Jackson, the UK's king of hurdles. For the first time outdoors, Johnson wins beating Jackson, but not in a fast enough time to steal his world record. 0 0.07 of a second still lies between them. But who is Alan Johnson, and how did it all start? I wanted to be a high jumper or a long jumper, so I did that. I wasn't too good at any one thing, so my coach he kept trying me at different things, and one day, he looked at me, he said, oh, your legs are long. I'm going to make you a hurdler. Following his high school success, Alan continued his athletic career at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. I came here on a scholarship, so basically I got a free education. The only thing I had to do was run track. So that, that was the trade-off. At 24, Alan has not only completed his degree, but has also achieved success on the track beyond his wildest dreams. <laughs> Alan's potential was spotted by coach Curtis Fry. His unique training regime has already started to pay off. These guys mean business. Colin Jackson's world record is now in their sights. Everyone is called a greatness does not reach greatness. Outside of the physical talent, it takes the ability to focus. Alan Johnson can focus. Go! 100,000 muscle fibers in the left leg alone fire to create the acceleration of a Ferrari as he powers off the blocks. By the time he reaches the first hurdle, he's traveled 15 yards in under two and a half seconds. Hurdle races start out in the blocks, go to set and the gun goes, and basically you just, you're trying to run as fast as you can. And every few steps you lift your legs up. Over 10 hurdles, you keep stopping and restarting, stopping and restarting, or trying not to stop and restart. Over the high barriers, equivalent in height to a motorbike, just 51 steps will power him to the finish line in under 13 seconds. With over half the race spent in the air, each step must drive him forward at 19 miles per hour. And that is the thing that makes hurdling difficult and makes hurdlers different is explosion, the ability to fall off the hurdle and not lose energy. There is a three-step rhythm between the hurdles that each hurdler has to create for himself. He has to have certain numbers, exact numbers, to hit each time. 
he lands four foot six from the barrier. His first stride is five foot six. The second, six foot two. The third, six foot seven. He's then seven foot three from the next barrier, ready to take off again. Okay, Alan Johnson takes off from seven foot three inches from outside the hurdle with a lead leg that's bent into the hurdle. If his leg was straight when he leads off the ground, then he's gonna float the hurdle. So he's learned not to straighten his leg as much as most. His trail leg, uh, he brings it tight underneath his body instead of letting it slide outside of his shoulder. He keeps his toe up such that when he hits the ground, he does not collapse and run, but his foot strikes the ground already in a running position. The bent lead leg is a very, I mean, it is very important. When you can't run in the air, you're losing time. So the idea is to spend least amount of time in the air as possible between the starting line and the finish. As soon as this leg is up, this leg's gotta be coming. And the closer you can get that to being like this, the better you can get to the other side. That's why we say be tight. His hurling mechanics are to be tight. You wanna be as close as possible. You wanna be a centimeter from touching that hurdle. You can't get much closer than that. If you do, you're losing time because now you're hitting the hurdles. His wrap arm helps him change his center of gravity because when he gets the arm far out in front with a reach in front of his eyes, the easier it is to pull the limbs around. So you have to have some torque. So he torques his arm across his face so that when he pulls it, it pulls his trail leg across his body, pulls it around. So if he didn't do that, then he would have no way of speeding up his trail leg. And the largest limb on the body is the leg. He pulls a small lever 